Oh my goodness, we're here. Oh, you're probably like, oh, not another level 30 enchant. Yes, another 30 enchant. We got all those levels uh, the other day at the blaze farm from our last harvest. And so I'm like, okay, we need to start building armor now as well. Get some protection gear going. <sighs> it's terrible. Why do I need fire protection and aqua affinity? It's got, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's like so backwards. It's got fire protection and uh, water effects. I guess it's just a water helmet. Anyway, it goes back in there. Yeah, we've got plenty. So, uh, the blaze farm is where I'm off to next. And I made a couple of potions of swiftness just because... Uh, I, it's a long freaking run, you know? You probably know. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so we're back in the Blaze Farms here. You can see uh, this is the one we did last time. I did have to take it back up to the two wide because uh, if this one, basically this, they would have been on offset blocks. And so the the only way I could get them combined was to make it, this was two and then this was two. And that, that'll work out just fine. So now what I need to figure out is it looks like they're gonna be, I'm gonna have like a lava tube right here, which is going to transport the Blaze um, up back up to here because if I'm all the way at the bottom I'm gonna be out of range of the spawners and if I'm out of range of the spawners well then the blaze farm is not gonna work um, so I need to go ahead and clear out all this debris here and go ahead and uh, start getting a spot built for the tube there and then we'll figure out how to combine the two of them together hopefully that's that's the goal for today Alright, so I've got to clear it out here. So, uh, what I'm thinking is we'll have, uh, more of, like, the pusher systems here. The pressure plate to the repeater to the piston. Um, and we'll have more of those down because I think that'll be the fastest way. The only problem is I'm kind of concerned it's going to, I mean, with each row of these that we do, it increases the odds that they're going to take a little bit of damage, which is, uh, going to... Well, hello there, zombie pigman. Um, which is going to interfere with the crusher at the top because, you know, the more that take damage, the less accurate the crusher is, which means the more die accidentally um, without uh, giving us goodies. And that's kind of what we don't want to happen. But what, I, what I'm thinking about for the time being, okay, bro, you can just, sure, that's cool. <sighs> so annoying. Um, is we'll set it up and then we'll have like a two wide tube right about there. Come all the way up. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. To about right here. And then maybe have them come forward a bit somehow. I don't know. And then, uh, you know, it doesn't even matter if they come forward. We could just have it sit up, sit like right here in between. I just, oh, it's asymmetrical. It's three wide, but I need it to be two wide and blah, just blah. It's going to look, it's going to look off, but that's okay. Um, so I'm going to bring them up here and then we'll set the crusher system up like right here. And then we can put all the wiring into this, uh, the back wall back there. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. From this point here, I think what we want to do is we want to create another, uh, I don't know what you'd call this, <laughs> just a piston push down machine. Um, and uh, I'm thinking that we'll have it intersect at the tube at different heights so that way I don't have to worry it, about it. Um, interfering with the other one like if the blaze is entering from the left side and then there's another blaze entering as well from the right side they could intersect with each other and that would cause a glitch like uh, they would just bump into each other not a glitch that's the wrong word um, they would bump into each other and then neither of them would get on the track and that would be that would be no good sorry I'm kind of scattered here trying to talk um, awesome. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, that's exactly what we want. Now I'll need to do the same thing from the other side, but I'm starting to run into my wiring down here. Um, 
I did also have a couple of comments that I want to address. Somebody made a good point that in front of the pistons, we can put glass, and that should still push them, but it also won't cause suffocation damage. So uh, I think I'm going to go back, and I don't have the glass on me right now, but I'm going to go back, make some glass, and then replace all the glass in the future. And then also, uh, I had another person ask, how long is my suffocation machine here? And it's roughly... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 1, 2, 3, 4, 22, 1, 2, 3, 4, 23 full pistons is what it looks like. 23 full, or not pistons, repeaters. 23 pi repeaters set to a 4 tick delay. Man, I'm bad. Um... I don't know. He, I had seen a couple of comments asking about that, and uh, there you go. That's a that's a good starting point. Now you're gonna have to tweak it depending on what you need and how uh, you know if they have other delays. Because I don't know what the delay is by the memory unit there. I don't know what delay that causes. I think it adds a two tick delay. So twenty three plus a little bit more is gonna be about what you're looking at there. So I don't know. That's that's your uh, that's your starting point, man. So what are we going here? We got that, and then below. Yeah, no, I don't need that. I think. I keep making it wrong. I do need it here. Goodness, it's like I forget my own design. <sighs> okay, so now that would bring them in. Closer, gosh, it's gonna be so hard to bring him in closer. Cause see, it's only gonna bring him in one each time we do this, and it's gonna add a huge distance to get him all the way to roughly right here. Cause it goes down two for each one we bring them closer. Hmm. There's got to be a better way of doing this. I wonder if we could just use lava at this point and then just have the lava connect here and then set the mob evader. So let me go get... I need some signs, don't I? I do need some signs. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go get some signs and then we're going to try this again. And hopefully the lava is going to work out better than all these... The piston repeaters pusher conveyor belt thing. And we're going to take a brief break from getting signs uh, to take to take a look or to uh, we're in my tester world and I need to see some stuff about blaze mechanics and how they behave in lava. So the the primary goal here that I want to test is does a blaze try to swim up in lava is basically what I'm looking for. If uh, he has no other options, is the... Actually, let's use glass, so that way we can see. I was like, yeah, we'll use sandstone, and we'll be able to take a... It'll, it'll look just like our, our Let's Play world. But no, that's not smart. Um, so the thing here, as you can see, is we're going to take a look and see if a blaze trying to enter... If, is he going to... Jam. And yes, it does look like he's going to jam. Hmm. I wonder. Get out of here. I'm gonna toggle this. Thank you. And we're back. So, what can we do here to encourage Blaze? I'm thinking of a couple things here. We could we could put the glass over top, and then we could have a a piston here. I'm typing this all in left-handed right now. And then let's go to redstone, and then lever, and then we could somehow have the piston block with a solid block here. And what that would do is, well, hopefully, what that would do is. It would push the, um, let's see if I can do it like this. Let's 
Well, that wouldn't work, because I was hoping that it would push the blaze through the glass block, because it's, uh, you know how sometimes that can happen, um, but I guess it doesn't work. What if it's up one block higher, and the, the pistons are pushing it right into its face? I don't know if this would work e either. No, that just makes the world dark. That would suffocate them then. Okay, so how about we do something different here? I really... Oh! Hmm. There's gotta be... I don't want to use pistons to do this, though. Like, the other thing that I can think about is... Okay, so now they have this, but they don't want to stop trying to go up. Um, Is... Hmm, I guess I could do something like this, where we have a piston facing downward and with uh, some glass on it, and then whenever, oh, you stupid slime, don't come over here and make noise. Ha! Ha ha! I killed you all! So if we have our blaze here... Get in the thing. Thank you. So now if he's in there, and then we push him down, is he going to obey the flow? No. It doesn't look like he's moving at all. Why can't you behave like normal mobs? So I was gonna think, well that doesn't work. So we're gonna have to set up like a piston conveyor belt or something like that in order to get them to work together. <sighs> I don't know, man. Well, uh, on a slightly brighter note, I know what to call this. We'll call it a gravity feed because that's what it does. It uses gravity uh, to feed Blaze down. So I think that the easiest way, because a piston conveyor belt isn't going to isn't going to work out very well. Let's let's be honest here. Um, there's just going to be a lot of clipping issues, and it's just not going to be fun. And it really won't be worth the headache that we're going through in order to uh, to build this all. Uh, so with that being said, I think we're just going to continue with the the gravity feed to continue pushing all of the the blaze down. So that way, I, I mean, this works. We it's a tried and true method. It's not anything fancy. And uh, why overcomplicate? That's that's what I'm going for here. Why just not take the uh, the simple route? And that's that's what we're gonna do. So I'm going to keep going here and see how far down this goes. And then uh, we'll, if it seems like it's going to go down way too far, you know, like into the depths of hell. Or we hit like a bedrock layer. Or actually, the thing that we're worried about here isn't hitting the bedrock layer. It's about getting the mobs so far away uh, from the player... I don't know if you'd call it the AFK location, but I mean, that's what it's going to be, um, is the player AFK location, wherever, you know, the player is sitting, that's going to be like that, the halfway point, um, in between where the blaze will get killed at, the crusher mechanism, and then, um, halfway between that and, oh god, I just lost my train of thought. What am I saying? I don't know. Alfred, I need I need a servant. I need uh I need my personal Alfred, and be like Alfred, what was I saying? And he will be like, Gee Willikers, Batman, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that would be awesome, but I don't think that's gonna happen unless I mean one of you one of you awesome people can volunteer to be my Alfred. It'd be a really bad job, man. You have to do like my laundry and stuff. I don't even know. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That works, that works. Um, so we're taking off two, I guess. Off of the width for every two we go down. I didn't really think that, you know, I only was thinking of one side per 
drop but we're taking it down both so I've got a couple more of these to do I'll see you in a second I have one more mechanic that I need to test that is uh, if oh blazes oh and we're back on peaceful if blazes will go up a lava tube and I'm pretty sure they do but you can see right now his head is not touching the lava but then if we go up one more does he start to go I don't see oh there he is He's going up, 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 and away. Okay, so if we can get their head into lava, they immediately want to start swimming up. Just without... Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so we'll be able to use that in in our blaze form machine. Now cut many, many hours into the future. Uh, I have been playing with this over and over in many different ways and testing stuff and going in and out and like uh, I keep pausing I realize or cutting but I I'm, I'm not doing anything I swear not anything uh, crazy important I just can't get through like the theory crafting stage of this like this is so god complicated it like every single time I come with le come up with a design in my head I'm just really staring at it to be honest every time I come up with a design in my head it fails but I finally think I have a design that for the most part works the the worst part about it is it's gonna add even more length to it and I, and I did the math uh, the spawners are at y63 I think it was um, something like that and you can see we're at Y35 right now which means that we don't have a lot more space before we run into uh, the risk of the the blaze despawning now at the risk of the blaze despawning I, I'm gonna take this down a couple more blocks here and I'm sorry that it's so claustrophobic and so nether racky but you, yeah it happens okay um so the thing i think we're gonna do here is we're gonna keep with the oh god what did i call it the gravity effect the 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 gravity feed yeah gravity feed that sounds that sounds like some smoking apparatus for like stoners or something i don't know that's bad nymphs don't say stuff like that anyway um so now you can see that as like this is the part I was having problems with I was I wanted to come up with like a lava tube that went straight up right well as they would hit this block they would fall I wanted them to just get pushed into the lava tube and you can see I used to even have signs I was playing around with it trying to figure out where the lava would be able to go um, and and without causing like an overflow or cause like clipping and it's just like nah this isn't gonna work so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it so that way it feeds into this one wide path right here and uh, then it'll get fed down into a single block like this and then from this single block we'll have the uh, the tube that goes straight up after this point um, so I'm thinking that we'll go Hmm. I, I I was thinking that we could go like down and out a couple more blocks, like uh I don't know, but you can see now 32 is our safety point, and we're at 31 now, so this isn't any good. But from here, I mean now I have them in this one block, which I might be able to let me play with this a little bit more, and I might be able to get just a, a lava tube from this point going up, which would be Oh my goodness, that would be so awesome. And actually, no, I, I can't now that I see it because it would block off this block, which, like, if we had to put a, a, a lava tube up, just it's going to cause more clipping. And I just don't want any jams. So I'll, I'll take the risk of mobs despawning. It's like a 1 200th chance for every tick, which in game ticks and redstone ticks are different things. Oop. Um. In-game ticks and redstone ticks are two di very different things. And I think an in-game tick is like 1 20th of a second, which means that they'll have like a, in the, I don't know, in the two seconds that they're going to be out of this range, they're going to have like a 1 in 100 chance of despawning. So that means like if, if we have to sacrifice the rates of 1 out of every 100, or you know whatever the math turns out to be it, it, but 
not have to worry about any jams, I would say that's that's acceptable losses, man. So I think uh, I think we're doing swell here, and then we'll go here, and then I just need that last thing of sticky piston, just like that. Cool. Down, down, down. There, there and then boom and so now it would get pushed in and then this would all be this would all be lava right here yeah and then we just go straight up so then you can see if i just dug straight up from this point or built straight up pillared that's the word i'm looking for i'm never going to run into anything so we're going to have a perfect tube that could go up right here a perfect like uh it would be a lava elevator. Normally, it'd be a water elevator if we were in the overworld, but, you know, we're not. We're in the nether, um, and there we go. We're free. We're, s we're home free. Yes. So, from th that, that's good. This is good. We're, we're pretty much done. We know, we know what's up. We know what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and mark that. I need to, um, yeah, I think, I think... Can we? I wish we could test this with water before we filled it with lava, but you know we really can't. So you know, if they would go down, they would go down. Oh, we're about to get suffocated. Okay, there we go. So from here, whew, okay. So we need somehow put a sign up. Probably we we need a sign right here for sure. So that way the lava didn't flow back onto that block. And then we'd need a sign there. And then from this point we'd... Okay. <sighs> Can I reach? No, I can't. All right. Okay, I've got to do this. <laughs> oh, this is annoying. Okay, so that would be a two block high fall. So awesome. That'd be perfect. Get rid of that. And I'll come back and I'll replace these all with glass like we talked about earlier. And I think this will work. Oops. Perfect. And then this would be lava right here, and then there would be a lava pillar going up. So I'm going to go get a uh, a lava potion, a fire resistance potion. There you go. And we're going to go ahead and start this, finish this build. You know, I hate to say it, but we're pushing the time limit. I'm going to have to wait until next time to be able to finish this up. Ah, I wish we could have gotten more done today, Urgh, but this has been such a brain teaser of an episode. I'm just... Oh, I'm sorry that it wasn't more, but yeah, it happens. It happens. You know, I'm human, and I gotta, I gotta figure this stuff out just like the next guy. I'm no, I'm no Hercules with redstone. I wish I was. That would be awesome. You know, just like bench pressing redstone like it's nothing with my brain, and then just tossing out cool, crazy contraptions just to give you an idea of how long that I've been here. All these mushrooms growing their own. All of them. Yeah. I had like one seed mushroom. You can tell, like, that was a red group. That was brown. And, oh no. Not my mushrooms! You son of 